Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and um, doing a little survey. I'm going to um, have a series of apps and we'll ask you guys what you guys think of the app and do you use it. We're going to start with the major app that brings a lot of the apps that we have in Windows 10 and it's the Microsoft Store. I, um, I go to the Microsoft Store from time to time. Uh, do I go every week? Mostly to check out on updates because if you go in the upper right corner, you got download and updates, and uh, of course it brings different updates for your different apps that you might have installed. And one of the things that is uh, so it had an update today actually in the Microsoft Store itself, but um, you know it's in transformation. There are things that have disappeared, have changed. So you, for example, books, eBooks are not available anymore, but um, you can have you know all sorts of um, uh, you can have games and apps. There's, there's, there's some stuff in here. More stuff than there used to be. There's still a lot of companies that do not want to uh, have their apps coming through here. But obviously, some of it comes from here. Like, you know, the iTunes app, for example, is here from here. The Netflix app, uh, also available here. Uh, so, you know, there are some apps that, uh, and the core apps are updated from here. There's games of all sorts. And my question to you guys is, um, do you actually play a game or check out apps or download apps regularly from here and, and test them out and, and look at what, they, uh, what there is? You know, you can now buy devices. You can buy a computer through here. I was looking at this the other day, um, all the different computers including you know third-party computers and H, uh, HP and so on Asus uh, MSI there's Xbox bundles and stuff you can buy of course you know it's kind of interesting to see all the things that you can buy and uh, there's even stuff that I didn't even know you could buy actually so and of course movies and TV where you can kind of rent movies and and TV shows and series uh, from here um, and you know it's interesting because they, they add stuff they remove stuff there's no more you know uh, uh, ebooks and if you had purchased ebooks you were actually uh, refunded there's uh, some talk about movies and TV shows that might in the future be removed but that's kind of rumors only so my question to you guys do you use this app and what do you think? Do you think the Microsoft Store has a future? And what type of future, if it does have a future? Uh, and what would you like to see or see changed in you know the apps and stuff? Um, what I like about the fact that you get apps from here is it's technically more secure than going to a website and download stuff. But at the same time, um, you know we've been used to, and we still and the majority of what I actually have installed on this PC are, you know, still good old Win32 programs. You download and you click the install or setup and, and it, it installs on your PC. And uh, there ain't that many apps that I would say I actually get from here, uh, honestly. So uh, how many of you are using this out there and who likes it and who hates it and Please stay polite in the comments, please. But uh, it's always nice to have the feedback of all of you guys on this. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.